clean off, you gotta take your hat off to someone like Shakur, who, who actually this time he tried to get the knockout. You know, who would have thought that Hudasaya was gonna be the one actually running away from his opponent? You know, Shakur did his best. He tried to obviously please his fans. Please his fans were trying to give him a knockout. And for that, you gotta give him as much respect. You know, Shakur's always been very, very defensive. His ring IQ is on another level. And he showed it tonight. Hudasaya, oh, don't underestimate him. He's um, Shakur might make him look like an easy fighter. He's not an easy fighter. It's just the fact that Shakur makes anybody look bad. What's next for you? Any, any plans? Any fights scheduled? You know, so um, there's talks maybe for the rematch with Vaquero and Alerta. I would love that chance because I think that running it back again for Vaquero will be a fan friendly fight and also fight for the WBO World Championship. Um, I just heard that Lamar Roach called me out. Uh, Wants to fight me, so that's 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 good news. And also, because I saw winning this fight, you know, he pointed at me. He says he wants to fight me next, so uh, I'm excited for that one. Exactly. Uh, I spoke with him. He says that you only have one loss to Shakur Stevenson, and not to you. How does it make you feel? <laughs> well, that's his opinion. You got to respect his opinion, you know. But also, we got to respect the judge's opinions. I didn't see him win tonight, but they gave it to him. So um, he said exact words that, that I said that uh, when we fought. I was the aggressor coming into him. Um, he said he was aggressive for this one, so and uh, we fight down, we fight down, down the line. I would love it. I would love a chance to fight uh, for w WBC belt. But um, either way, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that all these fighters are, are calling me out. So. Yeah, with, 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 he's looking at the camera right now. Send him a message. Conces out. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get in the ring. <laughs> you mentioned Conces out, Navarrete. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as well as Lamont Roach, which fight do you prefer? Honestly, I prefer Vaquero Navarrete because I lost against him. And he's right here. Obviously, I lost to Shakur, but he's in another, another division. Um, Vaquero, I lost to him. Um, he's, he's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fan-friendly fight that could be made. And I want to I wanna try to get my revenge. I want to get my revenge. And who knows? You know, any, any, a lot of things could happen. It could be a, a trilogy fight. If I win this next fight, but you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, that's the fight that I would love. But if it doesn't happen, I would love to fight with any other champions. But um, I think that's the more fan friendly fight. Talk to me about your, your your broadcasting. I don't know if this is your debut, but you were, you were ringside, and, and I can see right there you got some blood on your yeah, shirt. I was gonna say, did you yeah. fight with anybody? Talk, talk uh, to me. I, I thought you was just commentating, not fighting. How you get blood on you? I man? mean, it feels good to be on this side now. That's the ring. <laughs> But at, the, but at the same time, I miss being on that side. I mean, being, being inside the ring, is there's nothing better than that. The, the type of adrenaline that you get and the passion that I do, go inside that ring, give my best, nothing will ever top that. So um, it was great being my debut com as a commentator. I loved it, loved it working right next to Christina Puncher. She makes everything so easy. But I'm, at the end of the day, I'm a fighter. I want to, I see Costa Sao, I saw him with the belt. I want to take away from him. I see Shakur do what he did. I was like, man, I want to go back in the ring. Oscar, what do you think of that main event? How'd you score it? The main event? The uh, co-main. Co-main event. Um, I, honestly, I gotta, I gotta keep it 100. Honest, I, I saw Foster win the fight. Broke my heart seeing him, seeing him like that. Disappointed. Um, but you gotta respect the judges as well. You know, I'm, I'm not the judge. I'm just a fanatic as a commentator as well. Um, I didn't see Foster win, but at the end of the day, the judges. Some judges like the, the aggressor fighters. Some judges like the counter punches. Every judge is out there is judges different. So at the end of the day, you gotta respect the, the judges' scorecards. What do you think of the main event? Um, you gotta respect Shakur for trying, for trying to get that knockout. Who would have thought that the guy running was Kurosawa, the one who said that Shakur was gonna run? So um, I seen Shakur's eyes. There was a time where he looked at Christina Poncher and myself, and he said. I'm gonna knock him out. It was about the sixth round. And I actually thought he, he was gonna get it. But there's some fighters who we're not gonna knock out. Kurosayan is a tough fighter. Don't don't underestimate the guy. He's um Shakur might might make him look easy, but he's not an easy opponent. Um I just gotta show a lot of respect to Shakur because he tried his best to give the fans, his people, uh, a knockout. He tried. He didn't get it, but that's boxing. He's, he got the big You know, uh, at the at the post fight interview, Shakur blamed his performance on Artem. Do you think that's fair, or is it? Are there two sides to that? There's two sides. I mean, obviously, you need a dancing partner to make a good fight. Um, styles make fights, and it, it just wasn't a good dancing partner for, for Shakur. But then again, 
lot of times Shakur doesn't get that good da uh, dancing partner. Um, maybe I was a good dancing partner because I attacked him the whole time and he made it, you know, he, he counter punched me the whole night and won a clear fight. So that's why it made him somewhat entertaining. Um, or the sign just didn't present himself, but you know, you, you, I, I just got to show respect to both both sides. Hey, I got last question about dancing partner. Who do you think is the dancing partner for you? Uh, for, for me, my dancing partner has got to be uh, Banquero Navarrete or Concesao. I just got to keep it 100 on that one. I think my first performance with, with Concesao, I wasn't, I wasn't all there. Being very unfocused because of the whole positive substance that was nonsense for my eyes. And it was just, I was just out of it. I wasn't, but not to stop putting excuses. I would love to get the, another fight and then just show it right there. I'm, I've always been the type of fighter that no, never gives excuses. Never goes on Twitter and goes back and forth with the fighters. I always try to let my friends do the talking. So that's uh, so how I've always been, and I will always continue to be like that. Oscar, I forgot to tell you when we spoke with Casasau, he invited you to fight in Brazil. Would you entertain that? I mean, if it makes sense, you know, we, we, we fight in Mexico, we fight in, in Brazil, we fight in Dubai. And there's a reason why we fight in Vegas because Vegas pays. There's a reason why we fight in Arizona, lady, because Arizona's been paying, lady. So um, if uh, Brazil. Hey, it's obviously, I mean, it's not like we're asking for much. It's just like, um, whatever better option payday is out there, we're going to take it. You know, and not just for me. You know, I'm pretty sure he's he's on board on that. He wants to get as much as payday as I do. So um, wherever, wherever pays more, if Brazil pays more, of course, that's, I don't know about what I see. <laughs> By the way, he decided to make a WBC tattoo on his body. Do you have any tattoos like that on your body? No, because my career is not over yet. Maybe when I retire, I will try to put all my uh, achievements. But for right now, I just put the one things that I love, which are my animals. What would I have to do is be the smartest fighter, you know, especially coming here to these fights, you know, who was the one coming victorious? The smarter fighters, you know, seeing someone like Shakur, seeing all the other fighters, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the earlier fights, I just saw nothing but smart fighters inside that ring. So that's what that's what gets you the victory. Skills pays the bills, and then they, they showed it tonight. So that's what I have to do. I don't know if it's unboxing or if it's counter counter the, the, the counter punching. I will leave that to my trainer's um, decision. But in general, just be the smarter fighter. Oscar, Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. So I wanted to ask you this question because obviously it's something that you've dealt with in the past. But Ryan Garcia has got his own set of issues going on currently. Do you think? The punishment that he received from the New York State Athletic Commission was fair and was on par with his actual actions that he took? I mean, um, he said oh. it before, this for fighters who, who have popped with certain substance. He mentioned my name, he mentioned obviously the, the real bad ones like uh, steroids or other fighters. I mean, I do agree with him certain certain stuff where it comes to um, looking on the substance. If that substance is going to be beneficial to hit harder, to to be faster or help you like a performing enhancing drug will, well yeah it should be banned but if a substance which I have no knowledge of the substance that came out of I'm not I'm being ignorant in those in the words but if, it, if that substance does help you in some way well yeah it is cheating but if not then, then, then the suspension just it, it might be unfair so that's how that's how my stance on that look on the, su the substance if it really does help or not thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it guys.